In today's world, people are so consumed with having followers and subscribers. But I want to tell you the most important audience that we need to focus on. And it's God. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. The Godhead. And how important it is to have an audience of one. It's so easy to forget that God is always watching us. God is always there. And when we get caught up with the horizontal, with the people that's here on earth with us, many people tend to forget all about God. They're too busy trying to fit into different groups or ideals of what it is they should be doing. And in all honesty, the most important thing that we should keep in mind as Christians is that our goal should be to please God at all times. You know, if you've lived long enough, you know that people will drop you like a bad habit. And the fact of the matter is, we are not supposed to be consumed with all of that. We should be living a life that's pleasing to God. We should stay focused and true to the mission that God has given us as his followers. You see, we're supposed to be living lives according to the way Christ's example was for us when he was on this earth. The word Christian refers to being Christ-like. But in today's world, being a Christian is like just a loose term, a term that really doesn't mean anything about following Christ's example. And that's where we run into trouble. Because as far as the Bible is concerned, and as far as God is concerned, nothing has changed. But in today's world, today's society, the word Christian is one that doesn't have very much substance to it anymore. We have to be careful about what it is that we're trying to join up with, especially if it's anything that is not in line with the character and the will and the word of God. The only way that we can avoid getting caught up in the frenzy is if we wake up in the morning realizing that we're here to do God's will and to fulfill his purpose for our lives. God should be first and foremost in our minds and in our hearts. This is how you know if you're living for an audience of one. So what that looks like is yes, we do interact with others throughout our days and we make decisions, but all of those decisions are funneled through God's will for us and God's word so that we can make the right decisions and the right choices in our day-to-day -day lives. So if you find that you actually don't think very much about God in your day-to-day -day life, then I would advise that you just slow down and take time to recognize where you are with your spiritual walk because to do anything otherwise is treading on dangerous ground. And for those who are truly seeking after the acceptance and approval of the world and the people around them, allowing those people to influence their decisions that they're going to make, I would caution you to reconsider. You see, the Bible tells us in Psalms 118 verse 8 that it is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man. If you want to have wisdom in life, we must know the word of God because in the word of God, you find much wisdom and we're able to apply that wisdom in our day-to-day -day lives. So this is one of those scriptures that truly directs your understanding about the importance of not following after man but to put our confidence and trust in God. In John chapter two, we find Jesus applying this very scripture in a very practical way. This passage speaks volumes to me. John chapter two, verses 23 to 25, is talking about Jesus here. It says, now when he was in Jerusalem at the Passover in the feast day, many believed in his name when they saw the miracles which he did. 
But Jesus did not commit himself unto them because he knew all men and needed not that any should testify of man for he knew what was in man. I love reading the KJV and NIV side by side when I read certain passages. So I'm going to read the NIV version for you. John 2 verses 23 to 25. Now when he was in Jerusalem at the Passover festival, many people saw the signs he was performing and believed in his name. But Jesus would not entrust himself to them for he knew all people. He did not need any testimony about mankind for he knew what was in each person. The thing about this scripture is that it is very inclusive of all mankind. Meaning we can be up one day, down the next. We're on your side one day, the next day we're not. Apart from the Holy Spirit, I'm telling you, you can't trust man. The Holy Spirit is the only one that causes a transition to happen inside of us so that we can walk in a way that's pleasing to God. And so here in this scripture, you can see that there was a following of Jesus, but Jesus didn't get caught up in the following. He was all about his father's business. And so we too are supposed to emulate and follow his example in our day-to-day -day lives. We can't get caught up on the crowd. We're not to get caught up and consumed with followers and subscribers in any shape, form, or fashion. We're supposed to keep our eyes on God. We must be true to him. He should be the audience that we're concerned about. Are we pleasing God in our lives? Are we carrying ourselves in a way that God will be pleased? With that in mind, I've been led to do a series on authentic Christianity, and it'll be coming up soon. And I hope that it will speak to your heart and be a blessing to someone. I just feel that it's so important that we have this conversation because truly people are watching us. Yes, the world is watching, but what are they seeing? Truly, if we are living according to God's word and we're walking in his principles and his promises, then we will live a life that is a light in a dark world. So stay tuned for the series. In the meantime, if this video was helpful to you, please like and share it with someone else. And I'll see you next time.